Hi guys on Linux, we seem to be messing with our operating system even more than maybe on Mac and Windows. And yes, we tried all kinds of things and sometimes right things go wrong. So let's have a look at this setup. Init RAM file system unpacking failed invalid magic at start of compressed archive. And that's it. We are now waiting, right? The question is, do we have to wait? Is there anything to do? Is there a control F3 in VirtualBox or otherwise control Alt F3, control Alt F4? Can we go to TTY? No, we can't. So in the beginning of the process somewhere is want to read something in the boot, right? And it's RAM file systems. These files are in slash boot. Thing is, right? If this would be my system, it's just virtual machine, but if this would be my system, wow, right? Stress, stress levels go up. What we need is Arch Linux. So let's try and fix it. So this is an Arch root app uh, video, like I've many that I've made already. So that goes in that playlist we have it's all Arch Linux, all these guys, everything I teach is basically all the same for me. All of this is Arch Linux. And yes, there will be choices, distros make choices, and hence we end up in Carly or KOS or Maybox, etc. So in here I have also Arch Linux, and I'll just take one of those. It doesn't really matter which one I take, as long as I can boot up, right? So I need to go to the UFI firmware, boot manager and boot up from the CD-ROM. So we're now on Arch, well, in live DVD of Arch. And we have an operating system that's not behaving. So we need to mount that particular hard disk, be it a hard disk, an SSD or an NVMe. And then the things get more tough in the sense that there is also the possibility that you have um, control Alt G, for example, that you have Arco Linux D dot com. Either you have an X4 or you have an ButterFS. I am thinking, however, where did I put the ButterFS? So the D stands for all the desktops. And I think I've put this particular thing in articlex.com. Not sure. Arch root is what I would look for, arch root, and then search. Fix your computer, that's what you need to read. Fix your computer, how to fix your computer, how to fix your computer. But I don't see anything about ButterFS here. So let's see if I put it in here. Arch root, search. Here I've put it, arch root and ButterFS, use the power of arch root, or arch root and X4. This makes things more complicated, ButterFS, and this is the one I use always. I don't use ButterFS. So I'm gonna follow the one from X4, right? First of all, keyboard, key bindings. Um, was it again? Load keys, load key, load keys, voila, BE. Latin one, so make sure you know what keyboard you have. This is my Azerti system. Now I look around and I say, look, I have an SDA. I have an SDA one, which is two gigabyte, which means it's UFI. And I'm gonna mount that one later. First, let's mount the device SDA two, which is the big one, into MNT, like that. You can go arrow up if you want, and then one, you're mounting it inside boot. EFI, right? And then we arch root into it. That's it. So you need to remember two lines. And then basically, here we are. This is our system. This is the broken system. So if you go here and ask, whatever happened to the thing, LL, let's see. It looks normal and 9.8 megabytes for Initram file system Linux Zen and etc. etc. 
So the only thing I would do is just reinstall sudo pacman minus s Linux. Um, I'm not sure if Linux headers is installed. Doesn't hurt either. So Linux, Linux headers and Linux Zen and Linux Zen headers. Those are the things that are installed. I'm going to reinstall it. So whatever it might have been that I've cut the power when it was still writing. That's uh, on me, right? That's possible. I'm rather nonchal nonchalant. Is that a word in English? It's rather like whatever kind of thing behavior in virtual machines. Shutting it down and pressing uh, control, right control R, I think it is. So a reboot before it's actually shut down. And if it's writing something important, I might have broken it, right? That's the thing. Don't, well, just wait for the machine to reboot rather than pushing the button, the power on off button for five seconds and right? Something we do with Windows if it takes too long, I say, oh my God. But it might crash any operating system. So it's rebuilding all these things now. We can actually go to Control F4, for instance. We are root, I guess. Yep. And we ask what's going on in this particular thing. Not much, I see. <laughs> So I am asking uh, what's, what's in here and there's nothing in here, but what did we forget? Right. This is the live DVD, right? So nothing to see there in the live DVD. This is the mounted bit. So here is the LS boot and LL boot. Did anything change visually? No, right? We've used grub. So more in the middle of the line six dash or six, six slash seven, executing grub install. Cool, right? That needs to be done for grub. Executing grub make config. Cool, because that needs to be done for grub. And we see no, no strange stuff. There is a warning, yes, and an error, but that's for log TM rate. I don't have that and a boot menu. And it looks good, right? Anything looks good. There is that. I see the make init CPO at the top. Base, udev, auto detect, microcode, etc. Now I did read when I saw the, the message, I went for a look on, on the internet for the error in 2021. There was a message that the make init CPO update broke his or her system. And that was the reason for the error at that point in time. So we do, do have updates from um, grab make init cpio. We do get updates from it, but not recently I see on this machine. Um, anything else I could check? It is grub, so ungrub. Have a look around. Okay, everything looks normal. For the rest, when we boot up, we have the kernel installed. There is no drivers here present. So yeah, let's do an exit and then a reboot. And you just go down the list. What did I do wrong, right? What did I do wrong? How can I fix it? Undo what you did. Sudo downgrade or downgrada are both applications that can down your uh, system or your, your application or your uh, obstructing package or whatever. So yeah, I guess we have another video of an, a successful reinstallation or successful fix for Arch, right? Yes, we're not Linux. This is Arch, right? So Arch root use the tool to ensure that everything boots up again, that all the files in the right place might have been some corrupted file in there. So the file that probably was the issue is going to be in the boot and we they said something we'll check it in the beginning of the video something about a magic thing uncompressed or an error kind of an error that i look, i've looked up 
So probably this one or that one of both uh, doesn't matter. It's fixed now, right? So this is how you do it. Arch shoot. Look at all the videos you find on YouTube and the articles you find. Arch shoot is so, so powerful. And you can always fix your machine. There's no need to have butter of as and stuff like that. X4 for the win and arch shoot to, well, when shit happens. <laughs> all right. Cheers.